What is the fingerprint region in IR spectroscopy? Imagine you have a mysterious substance and you need to figure out what it is. One powerful tool to help you do this is infrared IR spectroscopy. But within IR spectroscopy, there's a special part called the fingerprint region that's incredibly useful. When you look at an IR spectrum, you'll see a graph with various peaks and troughs. These peaks and troughs represent different frequencies of infrared radiation that are absorbed by the molecule. The fingerprint region is the part of the spectrum that lies between 1500 centimeters one. In this region, the spectrum gets really complex with lots of peaks that are very close together. These peaks aren't just from specific bonds like the ones you see in the higher frequency regions. Instead, they're a result of the entire molecule's structure. This complexity makes the fingerprint region unique for each molecule, kind of like how your fingerprints are unique to you. For example, if you compare the IR spectra of 1-propanol and 2-propanol, both will have similar peaks in the higher frequency regions because they contain the same types of bonds. However, when you look at the fingerprint region, the patterns of peaks are completely different. This difference allows you to identify which compound you're dealing with, even if they have the same functional groups. To identify an unknown compound, you match its IR spectrum, especially the fingerprint region, with known spectra. This is done by comparing the unique pattern of peaks in the fingerprint region to a database of known spectra. If the patterns match, you can confidently say what the compound is. So, the fingerprint region is like a unique identifier for molecules, helping you distinguish between them even when they share similar functional groups. It's a powerful tool in organic chemistry for identifying and analyzing compounds accurately.